I know you didn't plan to be here, but I'm on my own. I don't think it would hurt for you to leave your flat. We're saying up again. Oh, she's at Woodford Green. You're going to have the details of that wedding order? Right. I did try and call you Saturday. Anna rang your bell. I know. Well, you could have given me some sign you were okay. I thought with Sai you'd been away, it would, it would make things easier. Oh, Zainab. Hello. Hello, Jane. You know, you should have heard Saeed this morning. Uh, he rang from the hotel and they're having the most wonderful time. Oh, good. Now, uh, how was Woodford? Oh, all done. And then Amira got onto the phone. I tell you, I have never heard two people so much in love. You could actually feel the connection between them. How are the Maldives? Who knows? <laughs> I don't think they've actually ventured out of their hotel room as yet. Maybe we'll have something else to celebrate in nine months' time. Oh. I tell you, Amira sounded like she was positively glowing. Good for her. No, good for him. My boy has never been happier in his life. That's doing the proud mother routine. Was she? You were going to have to be tougher than this, Christian. Saeed is gone. You're over the worst. Not if she's got anything to do with it. What? I don't know. Now, hang on. Are you saying she knows something? Jane, I told her everything. On the wedding day. Well, why the hell did you do that? I had to. When she turned up at your back door, she was mouthing off. I just couldn't help myself. She still let him go through with it. Right, so that was her rubbing your nose in it just now. Well, I'll tell her what I think of that. Jane. Don't. You know what? I quit. I can't do this anymore. But Christian, this is your livelihood. Do not let yourself be bullied out of it. I'm not. I'm standing up for myself. <sighs> Christian! Well, I can't believe that. Yeah, well, we'll manage. He's never been too reliable. <laughs> 